Hey guys, welcome to this video. Today I wanted to go over why propranolol is one of my favorite beta blockers. Um, and I want to go over why it's used for anxiety, like panic attacks. And it's also used for migraine prevention. So over here, I will write anxiety. We'll kind of go over that mechanism. And then over here, we're going to talk about why it's used for migraines. Um, the mechanism of action is actually not really understood, but I'll go over a property of propranolol that is unique to it in the class of beta blockers and why it can be used for migraines. So, um, in, in terms of, uh, anxiety or panic attacks, you know, you might take it yourself. You might know someone who takes it. It's more common than you might think. Um, and what's kind of cool about propranolol is, you know, some people take it before giving public speeches or some, um, um, like stand-up comedians or uh, musicians take it before big performances. Um, and what's really important is we're going to really focus on the sympathetic, uh, the branch, uh, autonomic nervous system branch of your sympathetic nervous system. Your parasympathetic is also important. Uh, but in the for the sake of this video, I mean, sympathetic is really the go-to. And what that means is your sympathetic nervous system is responsible for and in this video, the easiest example, increasing your heart rate. And why that's important is normally your heart rate beats, you know, if you were to check your eye watch in resting situations, you should be between 60 and 100. This is kind of a normal heart rate. Uh, underneath would be called bradycardia. Above 100 would be tachycardia. Beta blockers work by blocking the beta adrenergic response right? And I kind of drew that in red. The reason it's called, uh, you know, beta adrenergic, you can think of adrenaline, which is a hormone secreted by the top of your kidneys. And it's totally responsible for a bunch of things. But in this example, it's going to increase your heart rate, right? It's going to bump you up well above 100. Well, with anxiety, um, you know, people have a panic uh, response, right? It could be a bunch of different reasons, but usually you're feeling quite jacked up, right? You're going to get jacked up because your symp sympathetic nervous system is responsible for jacking you up. Well, what's interesting with uh, beta blockers is, especially for anxiety, is what they kind of do is they kind of come over here and they help eliminate that response, they kind of, they, they go into those receptors that adrenaline would kind of stimulate and it kind of helps reduce, you know, not let your heart rate get above a hundred ideally. Um, so you don't feel as amped up. You can kind of keep your cool, give that presentation, you know, kind of collect yourself, breathe, stuff like that. Now for the sake of migraines, what's super cool about propranolol is if you look here at the structure and you don't even really need to know organic chemistry. I mean, you do, but I'll simplify it for you. Anytime you see lines like this, lines are just responsible for carbons and then there's hydrogens that they don't draw that come off of it. Basically, what that means is those are non-polar units. Yes, there's a couple oxygens with some lone pairs, a couple lone pairs here on the nitrogen that are technically more polar, but as a whole, this structure is non-polar. This is really important. Another name for it is it's lipophilic. God, this pen's kind of hard to use. Lipophilic basically means, and the, and the reason this is cool, because it's non-polar and lipophilic, it can pass through a specific part of your bloodstream over here known as your blood brain barrier. Okay, so polar molecules, which do not look like this, polar beta blockers would not be able to get into your brain, which is why this one's used for migraines. Polar would kind of just like keep traveling in your blood. But propranolol is cool because it's lipophilic, because it's nonpolar, it can travel through your blood and actually pass through these specialized endothelial cells that, con uh, that make up your blood brain barrier because your brain is extremely, your central nervous system is extremely specific on what can and cannot get into it. But propranolol being nonpolar and lipophilic can actually pass in out of the blood 
and get into your central nervous system where it can kind of help reduce migraines. Again, the mechanism isn't quite understood, but what I want you to take away is that it is one of the only beta blockers that can get into your central nervous system because it's nonpolar 